Hey YouTube, it's Tyler the Antenna Man. Today I'm going to talk about LTE interference and how it can cause reception problems if you use an antenna for TV. There's no denying it, most of us have cell phones nowadays and these little devices use wireless frequencies to send and receive information pretty much all the time. The problem is that some of the LTE frequencies that wireless providers use are adjacent to the upper UHF TV channels and can cause reception problems if you have a weaker TV station and live near a cell tower. This diagram represents where TV frequencies are in reference to 4G LTE frequencies. As you can see, they are right next to each other, both currently and after the FCC repack. The interference problem is likely to get worse as 5G services launch on the 600 MHz band using UHF channels 38 through 51. Think of these LTE frequencies as a frat house that throws very loud parties. If it's five miles down the road, who cares, you're not going to hear it. But if it's close enough to you, the chances are that the noise is going to interfere with your peaceful TV viewing. Unlike a frat house down the road, you can block out 4G LTE interference with a filter. This Channel Master LTE filter blocks out 4G LTE frequencies to help improve your TV reception if a nearby cell tower is causing your issues. Here's a video example of it working in action. I was setting up an antenna at someone's house and noticed that there was a cell tower in plain sight right when I was setting up the antenna on the roof. Some of his TV stations that broadcast on the UHF band had this pulse-like pixeling as you can see here. As soon as I put on the LTE filter, the pixeling stopped right away and did not come back. I'm going to leave this video on for a few seconds just so you can see that there's no more of those random jumps that you saw a few seconds ago. You can see how close you are to a cell tower in your area by going to antennasearch.com, typing in your address, and clicking on Tower Search. If you see a lot of nearby cell towers and your reception issues kind of look like this, again, a few spontaneous pixels and almost a timed rhythm, the Channel Master LTE filter may help fix your problem. You can find the link to this filter in the description of my video and also below on a pinned comment. One thing I do want to note is if you do end up purchasing the filter and you have a preamp up at the antenna, make sure this filter is installed before the preamp up at the antenna. If you don't have a preamp and are just using a powered splitter, this should go before the powered splitter. If you're not using a preamp or a powered splitter, you're just using one antenna connected directly to the TV set, this can go right at the TV set. One thing I do want to clarify is if your TV reception looks more like this, a jumbled mess of pixels with a no signal message for a long time, the chances are that your reception issues are not so much cell tower related, but antenna related, likely with a non-optimal antenna setup. And you may need a better antenna. This is why I offer custom antenna recommendations on my website at antennamanpa.com. There I go through your unique reception situation, determine how strong or weak the stations are if they're on the VHF or UHF band, and make a determination on what antenna is necessary. I've had over 200 people submit to these requests and I've noticed that most people do not have the correct antenna for their area. So if you're interested in a custom antenna recommendation, visit my website. Thanks again for watching this video. If you live near a cell tower and notice a sort of pulse-like rhythm of pixels on some of your TV channels, this Channel Master LTE filter may help. If you end up purchasing this and it doesn't help, please do not leave a bad review for this filter saying it doesn't work. That just means that your reception issues are not cell tower related and you may need a better antenna setup. TV reception issues are very trial and error based and it's very hard for the average person to tell if it's LTE related, if it's over amplifying, if you have the wrong antenna, there are one of a hundred things that can go wrong when setting up an antenna. And this is why my channel and custom antenna recommendations are a thing. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for cord cutting and antenna related information and have an awesome day.